trying to hide the infantry, but infantry section is going straight for it. He's at the edge of the map with nowhere to go. Infantry section gonna try to find it. That'll be a big loss for Kimbo in the first few minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is round one of the of the Flash Tournament, the Vanilla Flash Tournament, which means no commanders. That's right. You thought artillery, a certain artillery commander for the British is overpowered. Guess what? No longer here. You think a certain infantry commander for the Austria is overpowered. Guess what? Not here. Nothing is here. They're going base. They're going prime. They're going uh, primitive with this sort of feeling in terms of having no commanders fighting each other and who is this as the brits we have orange pest as the germans aka the austere we have kimbo on famonville approach interesting to see how things progress but hopefully things turn out okay remember this is some of the best players in the business and hopefully they bring it even when they don't bring a commander. They also don't have any bulletins, as you can see, although I believe Kimbo does have skins. So if you see a certain color panther, that is allowed. That is perfectly fine. Just, you know, no increased 3% penetration. Can't have that at increased penetration. But what we do have is a sniper. Kimbo bringing it up, maybe putting a first shot on target, gets it against the British British infantry heading uh, right around the munition cache up north. We got Pioneers maybe trying to go in and close the gap as well, at least getting some difference between the sniper and the infantry. Let's see, right now he's moving on in. Let's see, infantry section capturing the lower portion. Already grabbed the fuel. Excellent capture on this approach. I don't think they'll really have to worry about much. Grandier's on the front. Wait! Oh, sniper being pressured by the British infantry section. Jumps over the fence. Hides behind the house to dodge the incoming fire. Has to be very careful. Trying to hide the infantry. But infantry section is going straight for it. He's at the edge of the map with nowhere to go. Infantry section gonna try to find it. That'll be a big loss for Kimbo in the first few minutes. He's gonna search, he's gonna find it. We have a lot of infantry right here and not a lot coming on in. The sniper being extra quiet, trying to hide from the infantry section. He thinks he's going behind the house, but the sniper is actually by the windmill. A clever tactic by uh, Kimbo. Keeps himself well secure. He's gonna jump the fence again, hopefully. Infantry section has not seen it yet. He does jump the fence. Grand Ears pushing on in. Snipers behind it. Gets one last shot on the infantry section, forcing them back. Excellent hit, all things considered. And once again, great play by Kimbo. Really good play as well by Orange Press. Really trying to put pressure on that sniper and try to get the early kill. But he does. He does at least get the Pioneers. So the Pioneers did go KO, but it's not as costly as this sniper. So very fortunate for Kimbo to keep it alive, but it is incredibly low in terms of health. It needs something. A med kit can be provided by a Grenadier squad once it hits up to Veterancy 1. Don't expect any other bonuses to comply based on doctrines, because once again, no doctrines available. But what we could see is also a bunker here back at base to heal it in the near future. But looks like he's going to pump out those Grenadiers to get that infantry primed ready to go against the British infantry. Speaking of which, we already have an armored car upgrade going into position or go, so that way he can deploy an armored car in the near future. Probably in the next, eh, give it a minute and a half, let's say. So, if that's the case, what does Kimbo have at his disposal? Well, right now, all he has is trusty Panzerfaust based on on the Grenadier, but does he even have that? Well, of course he has that, but he doesn't have battle phase one, so don't ex oh, okay, he's going for the upgrade now. So he could get himself a 222 or pack gun in the near future, but it will take some time, and I think the armored car, if rushed by Orange Pest, might beat him to the punch. FG section pushing on in, getting behind that cover, excellently done. Trying to keep the pressure on and the area secured by the Brits. Grand Ears will probably lose this fight just by the sheer firepower. FG section going on in, hitting the flank. Grand Ears trying to assist, but remember, there's only two windows on this side, as we can see. So the attack power of that Grand Ears squad is going to be not as high. Though they're in great position, but unfortunately, the defensive structure of that building, not going to hold up, all things considered. Not going to hold up. Meanwhile, Pioneers behind the cover, trying to open fire on the British. Nice positioning. Should do some damage and keep them A-OK -okay until the British turn around. Pioneers going to continue putting on the pressure. Gets one model down. 
Excellently done. Sniper once again under pressure. He's the infantry section trying to kill it, but a nice reposition by Kimbo allows it to hide behind the truck and out of fire from the British infantry. What a save once again by Kimbo. Kimbo uh, now has to worry about an armored car, which could focus it right down all the way to the base if he's unlucky. But even with a somewhat uh, interesting start, Kimbo is still going on. We have a teller mine going down, hopefully to anticipate the incoming armored car. Sniper as well, continuing to scout even with such low health. Grandier's going in once again for the munition point. Infantry section though are currently on the move. I'm assuming heading toward maybe this capture point or mid. It seems like they're heading back to base. Interesting move. He's regrouping his infantry. Five infantry section right now versing three grenadiers. One Panzer Grenadier recently deployed. And now Pioneers, which are about to be overwhelmed by some infantry section as they build some cover. Nice positioning with the cover. Again, trying to keep themselves on the field. Sniper trying to get the heck out before the infantry section chase him down. Pioneers going to hold on for as long as they can, allowing the sniper to pull on back. Though he is currently... Uh, as we can see here, not in cover, so he's currently can be seen, but luckily he's just in the fog of war, so the, luckily Orange Pest does not have eyes on target. Kimbo currently trying to move his Panzer Grenadiers over to the tractor, as we can see right here, trying to hold the line as best he can. Armored Car, though, says, sorry, your tractor is null and void, and tries to get up close to remove the said cover. Fuel now under fire by, or like under threat by the infantry section. Although we have additional squads moving on in, though extremely low on health, even that Grenadier squad should be able to do enough to really cause the models to drop. So I feel feel like, yeah, he's going to stay out of combat and slowly heal before he does anything. Right now, we have the map currently slowly going under the control of Orange Pest, doing a nice little push across the board. Infantry section grabbing a lot of key points like munitions, middle VP, etc. Trying to keep the pressure going. AEC continuing to try to hit that Grenadier squad. At least the best way he can. Though, as you can see here, Grandier going on in for the fuel. Trying to reconnect that. We have the British artillery coming on in. Sniper has to worry about incoming RD fire from the British base. Does get a few pop shots at the infantry section. Armored car, though, still in play. But we do have a teller mine right here that could be used. Again, that's one position on the map. He needs to make sure the armored car is in that general area for it to hit the mine. And right now, the armored car is busy trying to kill the... Grandier on the fuel, so don't expect it to somehow come save the day, at the very least, for right now. Nice job by Orange Pest getting Minesweepers again, probably realizing, hey, wait a second, I'm versing Kimbo. He likes his mines, probably should make sure that, you know, that that is countered. Um, getting close up to do more damage as well, even though they have a Minesweeper, they're still pretty good close range, all things considered. Infantry section once again going after the Sniper, who's hanging back to base. Again, has to worry, Sniper... Uh, just on the outskirts of the base, putting shots on the British infantry section, who's going in, trying to, I'm assuming, go for a cutoff position. And again, that could be uh, possible if he continues to push forward. But looks like that's not going to happen with the sniper shot forcing him back. We still... Oh, wait, no. We actually have five-man infantry section. So right now, we're unfortunately in a situation where we're going to have very, very powerful infantry on the field, and Kimbo's unable to bring up the big guns to really combat it. He's going to keep trying, though, with those Grenadiers. And someone called it in the chat, saying, Gray shot, I think the armored car is going to hit the mine. I said no. Guess what? I'm a liar. You're right. Armored car gets taken out by the teller. Mine, oh, sorry, mine. Grenade going off by the Grenadiers. Unfortunately, not getting a kill. Does a little health damage, though. Sniper, 10 kills. Still low health. The Mad Lad himself just going crazy with those shots, 10 kills, gets in the building, great grenade by Orange Pest, hitting the Grandier squad, unable to react in time, Kimbo takes that damage, and the infantry section continue to push forward, luckily Pack Gun is on the field to help against the armor, unfortunately the armor has been gone, and with that AEC destroyed, unfortunately that will heavily delay the ability for Orange Pest to get some armor on the field, Sniper heading back to base, Grandier squads could, you know, use some, uh, Oh, nice grenade. Uh, it would have hit the retreat if uh, Kimbo would have activated that a little sooner. We have artillery going outside the base. Sniper using the base as cover to snipe the British infantry on the outskirts. Not too bad on the shots. Smoke coming down. Interesting. Uh, most likely maybe to capture the point from the Brits' perspective. 
Not not a bad angle. Also healing right now. So good job on Orange Pest trying to keep his troops at maximum efficiency and trying to get them up to uh, better health contingent. Infantry section pushing back the pioneers, hopefully grabbing the fuel. Right now, Kimbo is down in uh, major regard because unfortunately, he doesn't have the fuel. He doesn't have the munitions. He doesn't have a VPs. He needs more map control. And unfortunately, the Panzer Grandier squad kind of, well, bit the dust uh, just from that, uh, from uh, slightly earlier in the, the retreat and the route. So right now he's in a bit of a, bit of a pickle, bit of a pickle, might add. Luckily he does now have a medical facility at his base so he can heal up his Grandiers to maximum efficiency. So that way they can at least go toe to toe with these, uh, British infantry section. Though, once again, they're five man squads and in cover, I, they will have the upper hand against the infantry section, not infantry section, sorry, against the Grenadiers. But if the Grandiers can start pumping out those MG42s, if the Grandiers can start holding the maps and maybe using numbers and taking out the infantry section where they can, that might be where Orange, uh, sorry, Kimbo starts beating back Orange Pest's advance. But Orange Pest looks like he might uh, get to the point where he can upgrade that next base, and I'll give him about three to four minutes right now at current capacity before he is able to pump out that very uh another cromwell or centaur or some major armor to really turn the tide um infantry section flanking the pack 40 great ears luckily looks like the grand ears are doing the uh divide and conquer approach getting an excellent kill on the infantry section on the retreat that's one squad down good hit by kimbo orange press though very angry about that little squad wipe and trying to put the pressure back on the great ears luckily because the forces were divided, Kimbo got the kill, and now with a smaller detachment than what even Kimbo has right now on the field, even though one of the Grandiers retreating with the Panzer Grandiers moving on in, might be able to win this, but Grenade going on the Panzer Grandiers, luckily he retreats in time and gets that guy out of there. Sniper continuing the pressure with 17 kills. Very surprised we've not seen a counter sniper by Orange Pest, but I, I guess he feels it is not needed. And to be fair, with the amount of territory under his control and 45 fuel right now currently going into his bank, I don't. I, I think I think Orange Pest's uh, fears are well, or I guess uh, not fears, but I guess strategy is uh, justified in this situation. He's definitely putting the pressure on Kimbo. Kimbo right now with only seven fuel, even if he gets the. Battle Phase 2, his best shot would be, oh god, it would probably be a Stug? I mean, to be fair, there are a lot of Stug lovers I know in chat that absolutely adore that tank, but here's the thing, uh, versing the British, it, it, it's going to take a lot more than just a one Stug to hold back the, all the uh, British forces, but we'll, we'll see. Maybe that will be what turns the tide, As a, but uh, yeah, the, I will say this, Orange Pest will need to do something about that sniper. Has he upgraded any of his facilities in terms of, okay, so again, we know he has grenade, we know he has a bolster infantry section, but he doesn't have the research weapon racks. Interesting. It could just be that he just doesn't feel necessary. Hold on, Grand Air Squad, overextended. Possibility of being killed? No. Looks like Grand Air's going to get behind cover. Sniper moving over. Veteran C2 right now with 19 kills. Even behind heavy cover, it's going to be curious to see how long these Grand Ears can hold. Sniper pulling on back. Possibly being flanked by something and didn't want to deal with it. Bundle Grenade, unfortunately not connecting the target. And unfortunately, uh, the British Infantry Section can continue to hold that position and just deal a lot of damage to him. Hey, good job, all things considered, to Orange Pest for keep hitting those Panzer Grenadiers. Now, what are we currently seeing on the map? Well, we're seeing the Infantry Section a little bit lower, now going into the crosshair or, or trying to go after these guys. Who are dealing with one infantry section along the corner. Sniper back on the front, putting pressure on the infantry section. Panzer Grenadiers tries to go in a little bit late, unfortunately not able to stop the decap. At least stops further uh, capture by the British infantry section, but alas, that's going to be a major blow for Kimbo not being able to stop that decap, and unfortunately having to waste a few seconds to recapture that specific point. Now, remember what I said earlier about unfortunately being in a situation where the British will have that armor out first? Yeah, well, Orange Pest is living up to that marker by giving himself a Cromwell. Again, very respectable tank, very, very potent in its ability to kill infantry and uh, medium arm and le to lighter armor up. So, yeah, going to be very curious to see how he does with that. By the way, just uh, as a quick uh, shout out to all the infantry section, uh, 14 kills is right now the highest kill count for them. Grenadiers, the highest kill count is only six, but again... 
it, r roughly those Grandiers have been on the back foot this entire game. And really the killer has been this Sniper with now 21 kills. Uh, Panzer Grandiers only have 3 kills also. And Pioneers have 30 as well. Real Engineers, how many kills? Do you, Real Engineers, please tell me you have at least one kill. Come on. Come on, Real Engineers. You have something, right? Uh, no kills. Damn it. <laughs> anyway. VP point wise, as we can see, Orange Pest still in the lead. So even if he starts losing a little bit, he still has plenty of time to reorganize, get himself back in action, and come back even harder. A lot of infantry section all grouped up together. Sniper could use a special round to really uh, pin and hurt a lot of these guys. Now, if the Cromwell moves on in, it will have to worry about not one, but two pack guns looking at multiple uh, different angles. Uh, Grandiers in a good, posi uh, good position behind cover as the infantry section advances. Pushing against the Grand Ears across the map. And as you can see, the Grand Ears slowly getting into the building. We could see a grenade be thrown. Sniper possibly being hunted by the Cromwell, but Pack Guns have its back, getting some excellent shots on target. The high wall protects the Sniper as well, and the Grand Ear squad also being hit. Nice Panzer Faust. Pack Gun might take it out. Orange Pest going to need to drop some smoke or provide assistance. Gr Nice grenade, hits the Grand Ear Squad, forcing it back, though the infantry section itself very low. Pack Gun gets the finishing blow and knocks out the Cromwell. By God, the British armor not doing so well today. If you thought the uh, British uh, armor would do well here, well, they're, 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 they're uh... <laughs> Unfortunately, their uh, survivability is about equal to their early days in the North African campaign. Where, uh, unfortunately, they had no idea about those pack 88s. It is not going well. They have a very short lifespan. My god. But, at the very least, all the infantry section made it back to base along with the Royal Engineers. Oh my god. Heavy losses for Orange Pest, though. Uh, unfortunately, though, even though he did lose the Cromwell in that fight, um, one note, the Pioneer Squad did bite it from Kimbo's perspective, so that will delay his ability to get the support armor corpse. Even though he's getting the battle phase 2 right now. And, again, this is also the other big uh-oh. Orange Pass still has plenty of fuel. Even with that sniper, by the way, picking off the infantry. And at 29 kills, by God, can he actually get a final shot? He gets the final shot with the armor-piercing round. Oh my God, or explosive round. Jesus Christ. Sniper now up to 30 kills. Guys, I think we have the deciding... The, the, the siding unit of the game so far. This sniper by Kimbo. Doing an excellent job keeping the fight uh, against the British. Co very competitive. And uh, yeah, very fluid. Um, Orange Pass, though, does have the ability to deploy more armor. Though he does lose inf infantry. I'm assuming over here. Yes, he does? Wait, no. There's some dead Panzer Grenadiers that lost from a mine. Not bad. Mine positioning by Orange Pass. Pack taking mid. Somewhere, uh, infantry section died. Not entirely sure where on the map. Apologies. But one did die. We have a second Cromwell on the map. Looks like the, unfortunately, allied OP emote that I currently have is possibly not going to be used at this moment. But who knows? Orange Pest may be down. That doesn't mean, though, he is out of the fight. He still has plenty of fighting spirit left. And most likely going to continue to cause pressure for Kimbo. Such as... Pushing against the Grandier Squad, going for the fuel, and that crucial VP. Although Grandier Squad gets an excellent uh, rifle grenade on the infantry section, causing some major damage. For uh, though it does, uh, the Grandier Squad, unfortunately, in this situation, does have to pull back. Luckily enough, men right over there, they're able to capture territory. Orange Pest deploying the Cromwell. Hopefully, the second one is slightly better than the first one. Again, uh, Cromwell, very excellent use of smoke, has a really nice ability. Or in terms of its speed to just, well, outpace the enemy. And also a good main gun uh, to combat infantry and armor with its turret. So hopefully it can continue to put pressure. Love it, yet destroy the cover. Make sure, of course, that is removed from play. You don't want the enemy to have anything. Oh my god. But yeah, very, very excellent move so far this game. Sniper, hold on. Putting shots on the Royal Engineer squad. Oh, I'm sorry, on the infantry section, not Royal Engineers. Now, the question is, do we have any additional teller mines on the field? We saw early on Kimbo placing an excellent teller that knocked out the AEC. 
without even combating it. Now, the question is, can he do so again? We know there's Royal Engineers currently surveying the battlefield, but right now they're hanging back to base with, oh my god, Pioneers capturing territory right outside the British position, and... As we can currently see from the capture of that uh, that location, cutting off the fuel, the munitions, this capture point right here, everything is currently cut off. Cromwell not happy with it, putting shots on the Pioneer Squad. Pack guns moving on in for target. Gradier Squad's trying to hide behind the cover, though I don't know if that's necessarily working by the direction the high wall is protecting it that's for sure pack guns putting a lot of shots on target pushing back the cromwell and forcing it back now unfortunately we're in a position now where kimbo finally has the support armor corps being made and not only that we got ourselves a panzer four on the, uh, about to be deployed onto the field, which is a big uh-oh for Orange Pest for a critical reason. Right now, we can see that Kimbo has a lot of infantry that is good, or at least has ability to combat armor. We have pack guns, which in upon themselves are AT guns, aka uh, really, really good against armor. And now we're going to have a Panzer IV, which is going to be an armored unit. Orange Pest... Unfortunately, just like the Brits early on, not using the full advantage of anti-tank uh, guns. So, again, going to need to bring some onto the field to really combat it. He does have plenty of manpower, so hopefully he does bring it onto the table. Though, again, I would say that Kimbo definitely has a superiority, at least for right now, with the amount of infantry else on the field. So, definitely, if he's going to bring out a uh, AT gun, he will need to protect it. And that might be a little bit more uh, of a difficulty for Orange Pest, but something he will probably need to do in order to combat this Panzer IV, which is now opening fire on the infantry section in mid, forcing them back. Luckily, no casualties for the infantry section as they retreat and head back to base. Right now, Royal Engineers trying to capture this point. Panzer IV, very angry, going straight for something. Infantry section possibility. A T grenade hits the Panzer IV. Oh, wait, the Cromwell damaged from a Panzerfaust, it looks like. And also, it looks like someone got a nice shot on a Grenadier squad when the Panzerfaust was being fired. Now, he's going to need some support. Royal Engineers coming on in, maybe to throw additional AT grenade. Cromwell under fire. Unfortunately, no lucky bounces today, and the Panzer IV takes out the Cromwell. Excellent work by Kimbo. Once again, Kimbo... E oh, my God. Hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a Panzer Grenadier model following suit, as we can see, holding on. And that's it. That is game. Orange Pass calls it quits, and that's the end of the first game of round one. What do I currently think of that game? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that was an excellent game on Kimbo. He was down to one position. Orange Pass had an excellent start. An amazing f a charge with his infantry section, dominating the battlefield, getting multiple kills, putting the pressure going. But, as we saw in the game, he wasn't able to do the finishing blow he wanted. That sniper somehow evaded capture and or being killed from the infantry section from very early on to the point where he was barely alive, hiding behind a, f I believe it was a box in the corner after he jumped a fence. And, or sorry, it wasn't a box, it was a, uh, a wheelbarrow or, you know, that, a cart. But the point matter is, he survived, he got out, and kept the pressure on the British, and slowly but surely, Kimbo got himself the forces, committed themselves to strategic strikes to hit infantry section that were cut off from the remainder, so that way he would have advantage over a smaller group with his whole army, rather than fighting all the infantry section in one go. Really, really great to see, and with the with, by dividing and conquering the, the enemy, Kimbo slowly rose up the ranks, and Orange Pest unfortunately had some bad calls with his armor, either being hit from a teller, over committing and being knocked out by a pack, or unfortunately uh, going for some infantry, not keeping their distance. Again, social distance your armor, ladies and gentlemen, so you don't get hit by Panzerfaust or, and or other anti-tank weaponry from infantry. Point of the matter is, Cromwell got a little too close for comfort, didn't social distance, got hit by a Panzerfaust, got an engine crit, and the Panzer IV came on in for the kill. Um, again, really excellent work by Kimbo. Let's double check the stats. And we can currently see that in the stats, Orange Pass got 67 kills, 75 losses. Kimbo, 75 kills, 67 losses. Orange Pass, what was your MVP? I'm assuming it was the infantry section. Uh, wait, Grand Deers were? I highly doubt that. Uh, 55 kills. He lost two squads. 
but did a lot of damage, all things considered. Really good use in the infantry section. Really enjoyed their plays, all things considered. Kimbo, your best was the Grenadilla with 23 kills, zero losses. Although I have to give the MVP to the Sniper with 40 kills, which would equal to uh, over half of Orange Pass losses. Over half of the units lost in that game was from a Sniper. Again, showing the power of a good support unit. Uh, but in any case, guys, that's going to be game one. Good job to both Kimbo and Orange Pass for an excellent game. Let's see how round two delivers in terms of action. Because round one already off to a great start. Not even eight minutes. That's right, Johnny. Not e even eight minutes. So really good job on Kimbo's part. Keeping the pressure going and allowing for a quick and decisive win. Hello everyone, this is Grayshaw on 7 and before I go, I want to give a special shout out to Patreon supporters Malam, JoeyG240, Anton Bashara, Ion, Pyroshark, Ace, and Jacob Osway. Seriously guys, thank you so much for your amazing support, especially over the past month. Been through a lot of personal hurdles, but you guys make it a little easier knowing that you guys support me. And same thing with the patrons down below. This has been Grayshaw on 7 and his amazing patrons, and I'll see all of you next time.